In the Table of Contents area, select the Master Pages tab and once there, choose the master page that we are going to set. Giving it a name can help us to identify it. Go to the Properties area and indicate the size of the master page in pixels. All pages associated with this master page will have this same size. We can set a background color for the master page. We can access a palette with more colors and even enter their values if we want a specific color. Instead of choosing a background color, we can insert a background image. To do so, press in the Image Background field and choose the option Select Image. It displays a window with all the available graphic resources for our project. If there aren't any yet, we can click on the Add option to find the image on your computer. Choose an image, press Open and the image will have been copied to our Resources folder. Select the image and press Select. The background image has already been inserted. We can see that all pages in the table of content area have the same appearance as the master page we just configured. By default, the whole title will be associated with the original master page, although this can be modified. We can give a page showing the same appearance of any other master page. If we click on the master page field in the properties area, there are two options, Inherit and Specify. By default, pages inherit the master page associated with the main heading. If we want to apply a different master page, we have to select Specify. A window opens with all the available master pages, so we can select one. The appearance of the page has changed. You can also associate a master page to a heading. Thus, all the pages listed in the heading will be linked to the new master page. If we change our minds, we can always recover the original master page by selecting Inherit.